The hybrid MWC 2021 event is now over and we learned a lot from developments shared during the week. And it's clear that there's plenty of innovation in the sector from all parts of the ecosystem. And one of the companies that made a big splash early in MWC week was Qualcomm. And here to talk about the company's announcements is Gerardo Giretta, Senior Director of Product Management at Qualcomm Technologies. So Gerardo, can you give us an overview of Qualcomm's MWC 2021 highlights? Yeah, sure. Hi, hi everybody. Thanks for having me here. So uh, yeah, three highlights I would like to uh, uh, mention. One thing is the announcement that we had for millimeter wave uh, momentum was a very, very big announcement for the entire industry where 44 companies provide a full commitment of deploying and supporting millimeter wave. That shows how far we went from the beginning where at the very beginning of 5G, we still thought that the millimeter wave was almost impossible to do. So that's very, very exciting. And then on the infrastructure side, we did uh, two very big announcements that I'm excited to talk about in the next few minutes here. Okay, excellent. So uh, one of those announcements uh, was to do with the small cells, with the unveiling of the first release 16 compliant 5G open RAM platform for small cells. What does this mean for the market and how big an opportunity is this for Qualcomm? So if you look at 5G deployment, right, we have seen the initial deployment to focus on coverage. And now we are seeing more and more the focus on capacity. And we have done deployment with 5G small cell already in some major operators like Rakuten in Japan and Verizon in North America with our first generation small cell product. The small cell are really important to enable on one end higher capacity in some areas like uh, urban area or stadium and so forth, but then also to enable new type of use cases. And that's really where the new announcement is about, our FSM 200XX, the second generation 5G RAM platform for small cell, because that enables a set of new features uh, that are available only for release 16 that will really bring 5G into new ecosystem, into new verticals, right? So we hear a lot about talking about 5G entering a lot of new industries like manufacturing, mining, enterprises, and so forth. But to do that, 5G needs to enable certain functionality. 5G needs to meet certain KPI and certain criteria of performance that this industry needs. And that's what this new platform does by providing release 16 uh, uh, features like ultra reliable low latency communication, like time sensitive networking, all these features that are fundamental for enabling 5G into these new verticals. And it's very important because that's the promise of 5G, right? It's going beyond the smartphone use cases, going beyond the traditional mobile broadband use case and going to transform every single industry. And that's what we think this new platform will be able to do. Yes, there's a lot of excitement in the enterprise vertical sectors right now. Uh, and then Qualcomm also announced its new 5G accelerator card. Now, this is a big announcement and the one that builds on the virtual RAN momentum that is helping to accelerate 5G deployments. Uh, why is Qualcomm so excited about this announcement? And can you share a little bit about how this will help to expedite 5G deployments? Sure. So this announcement builds on top of what we announced uh, back in October on the Qualcomm Distributed Unit Platform, which is our system on chip solution to enable full inline acceleration for layer one operation of 5G into the distributed unit. And the role of this announcement and this new product we're building is really making this a turnkey solution. So we are basically going to uh, have the PCA accelerator card as an accelerator card as our final product that with our chipset inside, of course, and that will be used in traditional commercial of the shelf server to really bring the 5G capacity that is needed in order to enable VRAN at very high performance. Performance is a very important aspect because we hear a lot that VRAN and Open RAN cannot compete with traditional implementation in terms of performance and power. And we really think that with our low power SOC and this turnkey solution, we can really enable VRAN to, to compete and basically be at 
same performance, if not better, or the traditional BBU implementation. Okay, excellent. Yes, th these are, are very important developments for disaggregated uh, virtualized radio access networks. Uh, so, Gerardo, what would be your key takeaway then from this year's Mobile World Congress? So, uh, so, so two things. Right? One, on the infrastructure side, uh, uh, which is really the area where I focus, there is a lot, a lot of excitement, a lot of innovation ongoing, both in the area of virtualization of the run and in the area of open and disaggregation. So this Move Over Congress showed that we are really at a transition of uh, uh, a technology and business model that go from a traditional run implementation to a new infrastructure. Sometimes we call that infrastructure 2.0, right? So there is really a lot, a lot of excitement, a lot going on there. On a second note, I think it was, uh, uh, again, not so good to not meet a lot of partners and colleagues. So hopefully next year we will be able to be there in person and have uh, uh, this interview probably in person. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're all looking forward to that face-to-face -face interaction again and to enjoy the delights of Barcelona while we're there. Uh, Gerardo, a very interesting and important set of announcements made by Qualcomm during MWC week. Thanks very much for sharing the details with us today. Thanks a lot. Thanks.